Hey guys, how's it going? So it's about 3.45 in the morning. I'm really tired. I had to get up super early, but I'm so excited. Today is the day. Yes, I am going to Zurich to go and watch the KHL World Games with SK St. Petersburg against Dynamo Riga at the Hallenstadion in Zurich. It's going to be so awesome. I'm so excited to go and finally give it a go and see what KHL hockey is like. It's really early, going straight to the airport from here. So let's do this. I mean, of course I'm gonna travel with EasyJet! Why travel in style when you can travel on a budget? EasyJet! 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 I am the passenger! And I fly and I fly to Zurich! It's gonna be 80 minutes before I get there! But it's gonna be so much fun, yeah! So I had no problems with the flight and I landed safely, which is brilliant. I'm now on the way to my hotel to go and drop my bags off before I head into the center of Zurich for the day. And I noticed that it's raining. If I wanted rain Zurich, I would have just stayed at home. I mean, I come from the country where it rains all the time. You're not gonna win this fight Zurich, quit while you're ahead. Bloody hell, this hotel knows how to do Christmas, doesn't it? I mean, it's not even December yet and they've already got everything out. Fair play, lads. Fair play. I'm traveling towards the center of Zurich, and I've got to say that these trains are really efficient. There's quite literally a train every three minutes going wherever you need to go around Zurich. Ah, the beauty of European engineering. So after spending the day looking around Zurich and going to the old town, and looking at all the Christmas market stalls they have up at the moment, I have finally made it to the Hallenstadion! Yes, I've made it with about an hour to go until doors open and about two hours until face-off actually happens. But now that I'm here, I'm so excited! I'm ready! I'm so ready! Bright lights. Big city. This is the Hallenstadion. Now this looks like a really cool poster, doesn't it? But in actual fact, it's a fan. Yeah, you're supposed to fold it up into little bits and then you can use it to applaud the players when they're on the ice. It's just such a KHL thing to do, isn't it? That really great moment when you're supposed to be sitting really high up and far away from the ice, but when you get to the rink, they upgrade your tickets and put you five rows from ice level. Switzerland, you the real MVP. You can't go to an SKA game without picking up a puck now, can you? And here we have some Dynamo Riga players in their natural habitat, going through their pre-game warm-up rituals by the ice. Isn't it marvellous? This arena is incredible. 11,000 fans can populate this rink, and the fact that they've got the two screens on either side high up, replacing the Jumbotron, is such an interesting and unique feature that they have in this arena. You just don't get arenas like this back home. It's t -t 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 time for warm-ups! Taking to the ice first, your home team, Dynamo Riga! And now, taking to the ice in their Hockey Fights Cancer warm-up gear, your team from Russia, SKA St. Petersburg! Good evening, Mr. Datsuk. I mean, why have one Zamboni when you can have two? Am I right, guys?
Let's get this show on the road, shall we, folks? And the first goal of the game is scored four and a half minutes into the first period by Prohorkin of SKA St. Petersburg, assisted by Tokhranov and Nikita Gusev. Oh, have you taken a penalty there, Nikita Gusev? Oh, you silly sausage. The Dynamo Riga player, Matthew Mayone, here he comes, so if you are still on your seats, you're going to have a chance to hear the... As the first period came to an end, the score remained 1-0 SKA. We provide a full range of services to ensure comfortable living and effective business of our customers on every level, individual, state and corporate. Let the second period begin. And Dynamo Riga have tied the game. With less than two minutes left to go in the second period, Clark, assisted by Gillies, manages to put the puck past SKA goaltender Magnus Helberg to set up a very exciting third period for this game. We will have a chance to hear the short maintaining from our the Moringa player, Kevin Clark, who just tied the game one to one. At the end of the second period, the game is tied 1-1. This is going to be a really great last 20 minutes between these two teams, I can tell. Only 20 minutes left to go in this game. Let's see how it all ends then, eh, lads? Less than three minutes into the third period, and none other than Pavel Datsuk breaks the tie in favour of SKA St. Petersburg on a lovely goal assisted by Nikita Gusev and Maxim Karpov. Then, with less than a minute left to play in the third period, Alexander Barabanov puts the puck into Dynamo's empty net to seal the deal for SKA St. Petersburg and give them the 3-1 victory in this KHL World Game. Okay, also, best player in the end, we have four, you know, this is 
Wiesen werden übergeben über Herrn Georgi Kobylianski. Er ist äh, Hockey Operations Vizepräsident von der Continental Hockey. Резолюция на игрокам матча обручает вице-президент континентальной хоккейной лиги господин Георгий Хабалянский. Веста Шпива фон Ста. Дума Райцель Павел Дацу. Лучший игрок команды Ста. Номер 15. Павел Дацу. Веста Шпива фон Динамо. Дума Зипенов Свансей. Лучший игрок команды Динамо. Number 27, best player in the number 27, Colton Hughes. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your support for our team. Unfortunately, we lost one of the three, but now we have a chance to talk after the game. After a hard-fought game between these two strong KHL teams that ended up becoming a game of inches between the two sides, SKA St. Petersburg took the victory 3-1 over Dynamo Riga. I'm so glad that I went to go and watch this. It's been such a brilliant experience watching some of the best hockey players in the world and one of my all-time favourites in Pavel Datsuk. Watching him score the game winner was absolutely incredible. Seeing the fans, the atmosphere, the experience was all absolutely brilliant. But I've been up for the last 19 hours straight or so now. I am really, really tired. I'm going to do a bit more exploring of Zurich in the morning. But yeah, I'm going to sleep. So I'll talk to you later, folks. Ah, Hallenstadion. We meet again. I hear there's a hockey shop nearby. Care to show me the way? Well, this is a hockey shop and a half, isn't it? Funnily enough, it's right next door to the Zurich Lions medical room. God, you can get a massage in one room and then buy all your hockey merch in the other. These Swiss know how to live the life. Anyone need a hockey stick? Uh, I think they might have a few on sale. Um, I'll have to go and ask the people that run the place because they've probably got very limited stock and everything. Want to make sure that they don't oversell straight away. So I'll just go and ask them. But yeah, if you want a hockey stick, I I'm probably sure we could find one around here somewhere. The place even has a second floor. God, you're really spoilt for choice in a place like this, aren't you? Whether it's hockey sticks or gloves or skates or equipment or team merchandise or knickknacks or collectibles, they have a bit of everything here, which is really nice. It really hits a nice variety of stuff. But yeah, I, I did buy a few things from this place, which I think we'll go into in another video. Want to make sure we have a proper look around all of this stuff. I did pick up some nice things, I've got to admit. But after I bought a few things from this store, I decided to go around the rest of Zurich to take a look at some of the places I didn't quite get to yesterday. And then it came that time, folks. It came that time to pack up and fly home. Even their airports look Christmassy. Flying home to England. Yeah. I can't wait to sleep in my bed. Hello darkness, my old friend. Why must we drive in you again? Finally, I have made it home. Yes, it's about half past midnight here at the moment and I'm absolutely exhausted. It's been such a long couple of days. But you know what? I wouldn't have changed any of it for the world. I've had such a brilliant experience going around Zurich and seeing all the old town of Zurich and seeing all the Christmas markets and then going to the KHL game and getting to see some of the best hockey players in the world take to the ice, including one of my all-time favourites in Pavel Datsuk. That was an absolutely incredible experience and I've absolutely loved the entire thing and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed experiencing it. It's been an absolute blast and I hope you guys have enjoyed the journey. But yes, I'm going to end this video here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go get some sleep. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. A big thank you to Chris Gadsby and Max Artis for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further and get a shout out at the end of any future videos, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.